Hi everyone, so today I wanted to share with you what I got my teenage daughter for Easter. Um, she's past the age of like candy and Easter bunny stuff. So I just got a very little bit of candy and in my opinion, I feel like toiletries and things like that um, are more practical for teenagers. Of course she likes candy, any kid does, but I just feel like it's nice to get little um, goodies that are more like um, sports bras or shampoo and conditioner. I'll just show you all the kinds of little things that I got her. Now she's 15, so she's at that age where they're like thinking they're adults and they are clearly not adults at all. So I just wanted to share, um, I spent way too much, but like I feel like this is probably like the last year she's really, really gonna be into anything. Like I know last year was, that just passed was the last year for trick-or-treating, stuff like that. And it's kind of sad because it's like, the end of a chapter and she's the last little one in the family and it just feels like it all went way too quickly um and my husband and i have chose not to have any more children um it just was not in the cards for us and most of our attention just goes to our daughter i do um i did raise my two younger sisters which was very difficult but they get little baskets. They're in their early 20s. So I just wanted to share with you what I decided to do for my daughter's Easter baskets. So my name is Charlie. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. My channel has not like one individual niche. I know people say pick something and stick to it, but that is not what my channel is about. I just like to do anything about whatever feels good in my heart and whatever I want to share with you guys that's what I choose to do and I know some people really enjoy those types of things and if not then you sure can find it somewhere else on the internet there are plenty of people that might better cater to you so if this sounds interesting I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and let's get on with it I suppose I wanted to share my makeup today because I just went for a little more of like a brighter inner corner and this highlight is killing me look at that I mean, is that gorgeous? And it's so beautiful out today. And I was able to wear this beautiful dress. Look how cute this is. I just wanted to show you this real quick. I got this at um, Boohoo. I have a red one and this really beautiful light blue one. Um, I feel like they're the perfect sundress and they're really flattering. And I feel like it slims me out because it hits right under the bust. And these were 10 bucks and they're really, really good quality. If I can find them on the Boohoo website, I'll link them for you guys. But I bought this in this color and the red and I just feel like it makes me feel really pretty today. So let's get on with it. So I ended up just picking up these 98 cent buckets. I get them every year and I say to myself, I'm never buying another Easter basket and I always end up buying more Easter baskets. I don't know why I keep doing it to myself. They end up missing. Every year I buy a new one and they end up missing. One year I bought beautiful, expensive baskets and we used them for two years and they went missing. So I don't do that anymore. So if it's a dollar and it goes missing, I don't have a heart attack over it. <laughs> I don't do like custom made ones because I just know just like stockings, for whatever reason, I'm always buying new stockings every year because they just go missing. I, she takes them, my daughter takes them, my sisters take them with them and then they just go missing. So I did just buy, because living in my house, it's just my daughter, my husband, and myself, my sister did finally, my middle sister finally moved out on her own. Well, she's living with my grandparents. Um, she found a job closer to them. It's a whole long story. She's happy, that's all that matters. And then my other sister lives with her husband. So it's just the three of us. So I ended up just buying one of these 70 piece with the Musketeers, the Milky Way, the Twix and the Snickers. Now this is not all for my daughter. This will go between my daughter, my husband, and then I'll take some down for my nieces and nephews and then for my two sisters. So that's a lot of candy. And that, believe it or not, was under $6. I was kind of shocked because Walmart's candy is usually quite pricey. Now my husband likes weird candy. He likes like Mike and Ike's. Well, they're not weird. I don't particularly like them, but he likes Mike and Ike's and um, we like good and plenties. I like them too, but that's like the kind of stuff he likes. And I sold this for right around $5 too. He loves lemon heads, nerds, Laffy Taffy, and sweet tarts. These are all of his favorites. So I surprised him with this. So I think he'll be really, really thrilled with this. So for 60 pieces, it was like $5.98. And then the nerds itself were like $3 for like, I think you got 15 nerds and an Easter egg. So I went more with the cheaper route. 
I don't really spend too, too much money on Easter. I personally like Easter because I feel like there's not like a huge, um, like how Christmas, I love Christmas, but it's just, there's a lot of buildup and anxiety and making sure you have enough gifts and making sure everybody has what they need. Um, I feel like Easter is kind of like just less stressful, I suppose. So I love Easter, but my favorite, favorite holiday in the entire world is the 4th of July. I think the 4th of July is one of the funnest holidays. You barbecue, your friends and you drink, you go to the fireworks, you can just enjoy good company and there's no strings attached, no presents, nothing. You eat good food, you pig out on junk and I just love it. But honestly, Christmas is my favorite, but I think I just like every holiday. I love Thanksgiving too, because again, there's like no strings attached. You just can enjoy your family. So enough rambling. I saw these and um, I like jelly beans. Um, I wanted to buy the sour ones for my husband, but everything was picked over. The seasonal sec the season the seasonal section at Walmart was picked over. I do this every year. I wait to the very last second. I did it last year. For Christmas waited to the last second and it's picked over it's my fault no one else's but I thought these looked really interesting and I'm gonna assume they have like a cupcake vanilla taste so they'll be fun I didn't buy eggs or anything like that I just feel like it's such a waste right now with her being kind of like in between ages so when my sisters finally start having babies I'll get to do more stuff because I always tell them I'm gonna steal their kids from them not really it's just a joke but um, these were kind of cool. These were 54 cents and I feel like they're a fun filler. Um, they're just like little plastic Easter eggs and though they can be like reusable. I thought they were cute and they had like little, little glitter ones, a um, little more fancier ones, but for 54 cents, I thought that was cute. And if you wanted to uh, use these for decor, they're cheaper than the Dollar Tree. So I thought I would share that. I thought that was really neat. Um, I know my, older cousin were more we used to be more like sisters but um as the years gone by we just kind of drifted apart but every easter she'd have the, my daughter and her three kids go out and they would stick easter sorry jelly beans out in the ground and then we would stick lollipops in the ground and make it look like um it sprouted out so that kind of remind me of that so i think that's kind of neat so if you have a little one have them go plant little jelly beans i know it's all over the internet everybody does it so i ended up grabbing her a dollar loofah i thought that was really neat um not neat just a good essential um i found this really nice sports bra that was like seven bucks um, she is tiny, so I end up getting her a small, ooh, <laughs> um, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit her, um, but I liked the razor back, and so does she typically, and then it gives her the sport, support, and she will wear this for, like, golfing, things like that. Then I ended up, which I thought this was really neat, I just got some nail glue for her because I found these. Now, these were a little pricier than most of the Kiss Nails. I don't know if I would have bought them if I knew they were eight bucks, but what I liked about these, they're for petite nails. Now she has a hard time with press on nails because she's only four foot 11. She weighs about 85 pounds. She's really, really tiny. What I liked about these where they were tiny, they were made for petite fingers. They had these really pretty French tips and then they had a French tip, but it was more like a blended, like the boomer nails. Um, I think she's gonna really like these and it's just nice. Uh, she can either save them for a special occasion or she has them for whenever. Then I ended up getting her just a pack of the shampoo and conditioner. This is one of her favorite scents. This was like six, right around $7. I feel like it's cheaper just when they have the double packs and that will be a nice little gift for her. And then I got her, she loves these sugar scrubs. I don't know what one this is, what scent this is. It says vitamin C. I hope it smells nice. I didn't have a chance to smell it in the store. Oh yeah, it's very nice. Um, they had this in cotton candy, watermelon, all kinds of flavors. I just grabbed this one because it was the closest to me and Walmart was jam packed. So I think she'll really enjoy this. And last but not least, I didn't go too overboard, even though believe it or not, all this was quite expensive. <laughs> I was kind of surprised um, and shocked. I did buy like paper towels and hot dogs and but like it was like 50 bucks for all this, I was shocked. But then I saw these and I thought this would be nice for the end of the school year. They're just retro accent, paper made like um, gel pens. 
are they gel pens? They're medium point and they'll be fun for her to take notes in. So that was everything for her Easter basket. So I'm gonna put it all together with you guys and show you what it looks like. I didn't get like the grass and the filler. Um, I just feel like you pick and choose. It's not like she's a little girl and like, she is a little girl, but she's not too young. And I just think that she'll enjoy a lot more having more hygienic products. So this one's for my husband, the blue one. Unfortunately, they didn't have a lot of options for these buckets. So I just had to get her the one with the llamas, but I think she'll like that a lot. So let me scoot you in a different way and show you what I'm gonna do with these baskets. I'm not gonna open the candy yet because I don't want my dogs getting into it because it is chocolate and I'm probably gonna keep this stuff up in my room, but let me scoot you back and kind of just show you. Hey, the soda I've been drinking. I know this is kind of like random, but it's more like vloggy. This isn't like super serious. But this Mountain Dew Spark isn't too bad. Um, I usually don't buy Pepsi products often. I'm more of a Coke product, but they were completely out of Coke products at my store. Not completely, but anything that we particularly drink. And it's blue, a blast of raspberry lemonade. Mountain Dew with raspberry lemonade. It's really decent. And what I like about it is it really, really light. So I'm just gonna see how we can arrange this so it looks cute. You know what? I'm gonna put this in here for some height. We'll just do this. Oh, that did not work. Let's see here. That might just be too heavy. Hmm. Be right back. Let me get some more. I forgot I had a bag of white chocolate. She doesn't really like them, but I forgot I had these too. I got these the other day. They are just the um, strawberry white chocolate rosettes and they're just for hot chocolate. They're like the, the chocolate bombs and I'll just toss that in there for her as well. So we'll do that with hers. Maybe just take this off the hook and I'll keep the hanger. God forbid these don't fit her. And we'll kind of just roll this up neatly. Just kind of fold it in there like that. We'll put her tree hut in there. Kind of like that. Give her her fake nails. We'll put the little Easter eggs in there. That's cute. Then we'll give her her little thing and then her little paper mate thing. See how cute that is? I think that looks really, really cute. I hope you can see that. Let me pull you up just a smidge. Look how cute that is. I think that looks absolutely perfect. And then I'll put all the candy in the other bucket that is for her and her dad. So I think that looks really, really cute. I think a teenager would love that. Oops. So there we go. Perfect. Okay, so I feel like this is perfect. Look how cute this is. I love that. So definitely let me know down below what you're doing for Easter this year. Um, I'm probably gonna just go down to spend time with my family. I am in charge of making stuffed cabbage every year. Let me pull you up so you, my head's not completely cut off. There we go. Um, every year I am in charge of making stuffed cabbage. Uh, we are a Hungarian household and every holiday we have stuffed cabbage. That's just the way it goes. And I find it to be quite funny that I'm one of the only ones that can make it the right way. Um, it's just in my blood and I roll them babies fast. So if maybe you want to see a video on me making stuffed cabbage and chatting with you, definitely let me know down below. If not, that is perfectly fine. Um, I love making the stuffed cabbage and then I'm probably going to make a dessert. And I like the candy yam, so I might make them for us. I love them personally and I know my grandmother does, so I might make candy yams. And I'm definitely gonna make something, maybe like a cheesecake, I'm not sure yet, but I love making the stuffed cabbage. It takes all day long. Um, the process of making it and rolling it is about, I don't know, two hours, and then it takes hours and hours and hours to cook. So it ends up being 
just like a tradition that I look forward to every Christmas and every holiday, Thanksgiving, Easter. So this is everything. So I would love to hear what your plans are for this holiday. If you're spending time at home with your family, um, if you don't celebrate at all, I would love to know what you do this Sunday. Um, I hope this helps somebody or maybe you got a good idea. Um, I think this looks really cute. I love making baskets. Um, I'll link down below for my daughter's, not my daughter, I'm sorry, I get, my sister, I've been raising them since they were like 11 years old. Um, for her 21st birthday, I made the coolest little liquor basket for her. So I'll link that down below if you would like to see it. It turned out really, really cute. I found some really cool items. So I'll link that for you down below. But I hope to see you all in the next video. I hope you all stick around and subscribe. Definitely follow me on my social medias. I will link them down below and I will give you a follow back. And I will see, and I will give you all a follow back. And I will see all of my beautiful friends in the next video. Bye guys.